Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. We're going to be taking a look at the Ragu Portable T2 PA system. This is a 15 watt speaker with a 2000 milliamp battery. It'll give you up to six hours of playtime. It supports Bluetooth, auxiliary, SD card, and USB drive. It's super lightweight at 3.3 pounds. The speaker comes with one auxiliary cable, one micro USB cable for charging, one wired microphone, and one user manual. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of the features of the speaker, show you some of the buttons, also the ports, and then what we'll do is we'll fire up the speaker, see how it sounds with the music, and also check out the microphone and see how that sounds as well. So let's get into it. So if you look at the top of the speaker, you have two knobs, you have one on the left, one on the right. The one on the left adjusts your microphone volume, so you can go up or down and the one on the right is your master volume for your music so that will go up or down as well so if you look on the top there with the buttons you have four buttons this is your rewind and go back a song so if you short press this will go back a song and also if you long press while you're playing music from the SE card and the flash drive this will rewind as well if you're on bluetooth and you long press this button this will actually disconnect the current paired bluetooth device all right so if you're listening to music you want your friend to pair their phone you just hold this and this will actually disconnect your bluetooth device so the next button is the mode button all right so this will switch your mode from bluetooth radio and and SD card and USB. You can also long press this mode button and this will actually turn on and off your lights in the front. So you have lights up at the top and lights at the bottom. So you can turn the lights off with the mode button from long pressing. The next button is your power button and this will act as a play pause button if you just tap it. And if you long hold this button, this will obviously power off your speaker and power on your speaker as well. So the next button is your fast forward and skip a song if you're on the SD card slot and the USB flash drive. And if you long press that button, you can actually search FM channels um, using that long press for that button. All right, so if you're on FM, you wanna check your channels out, go ahead and long press that button and it will search through the channels. At the front of the speaker, you have what we went over before, the lights. You also have the microphone jack. You have the SD card slot. You have the screen, which will let you know what mode you're in. You have the auxiliary port here, your DC port for charging, and USB slot for your USB flash drive. All right, so what we'll do is we'll fire up the speaker, we'll get it paired up, and then we'll listen to some music and see how it sounds. We'll go and hold the power button, Bluetooth mode. All right, so as you can see, the lights come on, they're flashing very rapidly, which means you're ready to pair. Right, you can see right here, it's blinking, and it says Bluetooth on the screen. All right, so what we'll do is we'll get our phone, we'll go to our Bluetooth menu, and as you can see, the T2 option pops up, so that's gonna be our speaker. We'll click on that, and it should indicate that we're paired. Connected. All right, so there we go, we're connected. And like I said before, if you click the rewind, if you long press the rewind button, that'll actually disconnect the Bluetooth. So we'll hold that. Bluetooth is connected. All right, so that's disconnected. And what we'll do is we'll reconnect the speaker again by just tapping on it. Bluetooth connected. All right. And we'll go over the modes. So if you tap the mode button up here, so you got the FM radio. Bluetooth mode. And go back to Bluetooth. Now the thing with the SD card slot and the USB slot is that once you plug something in there, it'll automatically start playing that. All right, so I don't think you can select the mode without actually having something in there, but as soon as you put something in there, it's gonna start playing the audio from the files that you have on the SD card slot or the USB flash drive. All right, so what we'll do is we'll play some music, see how it sounds, so we'll pump it up. We have 30 volume levels on the speaker. We'll go all the way to the top, see how it sounds. All right, so the music sounds good. Um, not a lot of bass to it, but everything else is evened out. So you have good lows, you have good mids and good highs. If you're looking for something that's gonna really bump as far as bass goes, it seems like this isn't gonna be the speaker for you. Uh, the song I just played has a lot of bass. You can definitely hear the bass, but it's not prominent. So if you're looking for something like a beat speaker or something, you're not gonna find it here. But as far as like an even, rounded you know, sound coming out of the speaker, you're gonna get that in this. It's not the best audio quality, but for 
for a party, for a, a small gathering or something, it's going to be just fine. And like I said, you have 30 levels for volume. I was up at about 75% volume on my phone as well. So as far as the sound goes, pretty impressed on that. All right, so what we'll do is we'll plug in the microphone. The microphone is XLR connected. So that's actually really nice because if this microphone breaks, you're not out a whole microphone. You can actually just replace the microphone here. All right, so the cable, you can keep the cable and just plug a new microphone in there to use. So what we'll do, so we'll go ahead and plug this in to the speaker and we'll check out how this sounds. All right, so remember we have the microphone knob here so you can go up and down. So we'll go up a little bit and you also have an on off switch on the microphone. So we'll switch this on. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so the audio for the mic is very good. A little echo though, which kind of concerns me. It's not very clear as far as hearing me with the echo going on, but it, it definitely is loud. Definitely will get your voice across a room, like a small room, not a large room. So I don't recommend this for like a, a conference or something uh, where you need to get across a large room. But as far as a, a small gathering, this would be perfect for that. All right, so what we'll do is we'll test out if you can actually talk over music as well. So a lot of these portable PA systems will only let you do one at a time so they'll either let you listen to music at a time or talk in the microphone you can't do both at once so we'll test that out real quick to see if you can do both features at one time so music turn that down a bit testing one two three testing testing one two three All right, so there you have it. You can actually talk over the music. So this will be a cool little karaoke machine. If you and your friends just kind of want to pop on some tunes and go ahead and sing along. So this is a really cool system. A lot of neat features. And you can actually even just use it for a Bluetooth speaker if you'd like. But as far as, you know, a well-rounded machine, 40 bucks, you can't beat it. As far as the battery goes, it took me about four hours to charge this from completely dead to completely fully charged. As far as the charging goes, you're going to need a charging brick about a 10 watt brick to charge this up. When you're charging it, the red indicator light will be on. And when it's completely charged, the red indicator light will turn off, All right, So that's how you know that everything is charged up and well. But as far as the speaker goes, I definitely recommend uh, for a nice cheap speaker, go ahead and purchase it. You know, if something happens to it, you can always get a new one for 40 bucks. You really can't beat it. Uh, especially being able to use the microphone and the music at the same time. Really fun machine. I could definitely see like some drunken karaoke nights with this thing or even if you know at a, like a kids party or something you want to speak over the room play some tunes while the kids are playing it's a perfect machine for that so i definitely recommend this machine go out and get it uh like i said it's the ragu portable t2 pa system check it out i'll put the link in the description below if you like this video go ahead and subscribe and also hit the bell for notifications for future videos but until next time thanks for watching peace out